Dave Filoni with Rebels did something similar to that of The Mandalorian. Filoni clearly always has ambitions to tie his story with the wider Star Wars galaxy. He did it with The Clone Wars, he did it with Rebels, and he did it with The Mandoverse. What he does, however, is devote his entire first season to developing the characters on a small scale. Season 1 of Rebels doesn't feature many of the prominent players we come to know in Season 2 and on. Sure, we get a few cameos like Lando, but Lando isn't a key part of the series going forward. Season 1 also mostly takes place on Lothal, physically limiting us from the rest of the galaxy. Once the audience has a good understanding of our characters and their journeys, that is when Filoni decides to expand the universe. Season 2 opens the show's horizons drastically. We are introduced to a handful of veterans returning from the Clone Wars, we journey to many new locations, some not unfamiliar to hardcore fans, but even more so than that, the show's visuals improved as well. 